Exactly two days ago, I was uh, watching a uh, drill exercise with uh, the football athlete, pardon me, who were going through the daily routine of preparing for an upcoming football game. And I noticed during the drill exercise that they were pressing against the force. Good evening. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman tonight. The topic of discussion is get in the press. Get in the press. How many times do individuals quit before they even begin to succeed? As soon as there is an opposition, trials, or tests that come along, too many men and women begin to believe that their destiny cannot be fulfilled. That is a wrong way to think about things. If one is going to achieve anything in life, be it educational, financial, spiritual, etc., we're going to have to understand that pursuing goals, fulfilling plans, agendas, and accomplishing them, we must learn how to go against the press. We have to get in the press in order to succeed. According to the Google Dictionary, the word press is defined as one, move or cause to move into a position of contact with something by exerting continuous physical force. Also, there are some synonymous words. Let me run them by. Depress, bear down on, lean on, lower, pin, hold down, force, ram, thrust, squeeze, compress, clasp, etc. In the game of life, nothing is going to come easy. If individuals think that achieving goals are going to be easy, they might as well stop even before they get started. Going above and beyond the call of duty, the habit of going the extra mile, having a made up mind toward a goal, it's called get in the press. Athletes, go through rigorous and vigorous training in order to succeed. Because if they don't go through that training period, once they come into contact with their opposition, they're not going to be able to succeed in order to win the game. Whatever your desire, whatever you desire to be, to do, and to have in this present world, you're going to have to fight in order to get it. It's not going to come automatically. It's not going to be given to us. It's not going to be handed to us. Individuals who don't understand what getting into the press means, they're going to find out during the course of their lives that it means you have to fight against. You have to go against. Go against what? Go against fear. Press against doubt. Press against unbelief. Press against failure. Press against depression. Press against worry. Press against toxicity. Press against negative thinking, acting, speaking, doing forces when they come up against us. Whatever your profession or calling in life is, doctor, lawyer, professor, pastor, teacher, evangelist, philanthropist, athlete, banker, scholar, academician, whatever your calling is going to be, you're going to have to press into it in order to achieve it. And when things get hard, don't be so quick to give up. In order to succeed, one must understand what the nature of failure is. Failure is nothing more than an opportunity that allows one to continue to exert their mind power against every negative force that comes up against us. The forces of negativity are real. You cannot see them but you can see their work. Why? Because they are unseen forces. I've often said, and I'll say it again, the intangible is more important than the tangible. The invisible is more important than the visible. Our gifts, talents, and abilities that we have been endowed with in this life, 
They are innately built on the inside of us. One does not see how the brain operates, but it's operating every second and every hour and every moment of the day. Get into the press in the game of life. Get into the press for your happiness. Get into the press for your health. Get into the press for your prosperity. Get into the press for your success. Get into the press for a wonderful, happy life filled with love and laughter. Get into the press and don't allow anything, anyone or anybody to tell you that you can't succeed in life. Yes, you can. If you are determined to put the work in, if you are determined to do what it takes in order to succeed, if you will prepare yourself for that which you desire to be, to do, and to have, that means you may have to read a lot. That means you may have to listen. You may have to go back to school. Vocational, uh, listen, vocational professions are wonderful professions to have. And oftentimes individuals who have a vocational profession, they're making more money than individuals who have college degrees. I, as I've said before, I know a lot of people who have a lot of degrees behind their names and titles, but they're not even making a six figure digit income. Why? Because they have knowledge, but they don't have wisdom. And when you're going to get into the press of life, you are going to go against that which comes against you. You have to exert your will. You have to exert strength. One must exert that which they don't even want to exert, meaning you have to go deep down on the inside of your spirit, on the inside of your soul, and you have to summon up that strength and ability. Where does it come from? Sometimes it comes from a foundational structure that we built our lives upon. Sometimes it comes from a good prayer life. Sometimes it comes from individuals who have inspired and motivated us along the way. Get into the press in your mind and go against every negative thought that comes into your mind and allow the thoughts of positivity to break through and cause your mind to start thinking, acting, and doing in a realm where faith is real in a realm where positivity is moving just like the speed of light. Look at all the innovative technology that we have today. Do you think it came about through whimsical thinking? No, it came about because these enlightened thinkers got into the press and they went against the uh, uh, standard opposition of the hour. Don't you know that conformists will never be created? A conformist? won't go against the grain. A conformist would not be innovative in their thinking. An entrepreneurial spirit comes from one who is going against the press. They're going against the norm. Extraordinary athletic abilities in basketball, hockey, soccer, football, or whatever chosen professional sports one may like. It comes as a result of individuals going against the press. Always remember this, in order to be, to do, and to have, you are going to work harder than you ever thought you're going to work. You're going to outsmart the competition that comes up against you. There is no magic pill, like in the movie Limitless. There is no magic pill that one is going to take that going to give them superior intellectual ability to think. You're going to have to use that which you already have. Work your faith and it will work for you. Work the gift that you have and it will work for you. Get into the press of success. Get into the press for prosperity. Get into the press to become financially independent. Get into the press and become your own boss in this world. Get into the press and become an entrepreneur. Get into the press and become a discoverer of that which already is built innately on the inside of you. And when you get into the press, my friend, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna find out that you've always had what it takes to succeed. I'll leave you with this. In the movie, The Wizard of Oz. Yes, you remember the original Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland. As she was standing before the Good Witch, she was there, her dog Toto was there, the Tin Man, 
the lion, the scarecrow, they were all there. And remember these infinite words. She said, Dorothy, you've always had the power to go home. What did Dorothy have that the enemy of Dorothy wanted? The ruby slippers. And she told her to click her heel three times and to say, there's no place like home. You already have what it takes to succeed. You already have to take, pardon me, you already have what it takes to be empowered. Self-empowerment, doing for yourself, going above and beyond the call of duty, going beyond the realm of ordinary, going beyond the realm of failure. Get into the press in your mind and begin to war against those negative thinking, acting, speaking forts, forces and thoughts that come against you. And you'll find out that as you get into the press, you will succeed. Never surrender, never quit.